So apparently it's the worst kept secret in the NBA that James Harden is going to be reuniting with the Houston Rockets this offseason. And we're up to pick four now of predicting the offseason rebuilds for these teams. And that's what I'm going to be doing for the Rockets today. We're going to be staying at four. We're also going to be bringing back James Harden. So what is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? And the fourth spot wasn't great, like, for the Rockets to end up getting. They obviously miss out on Victor Wembanyama, the franchise player, or even the next point guard in Houston with Scoot Henderson. He's not falling to four. So Brandon Miller goes two to the Hornets, and then Scoot Henderson here three to the Blazers. Now, we're on the clock here with the fourth overall pick. And I've been basically going with who I have in my mock drafts uh, with these selections. So some names that could be on the board for the Rockets at four, Men Thompson, Jairus Walker, or Cam Whitmore. I think it's one of those three players. And even with James Harden coming back, I'm still going to draft Amen Thompson. Now, I don't know if we're going to keep Amen Thompson for a while. Maybe we just help develop him, and then we end up wanting to trade him for a more defensive-minded small forward or something like that. I'm also going to be taking Jordan Hawkins with my second first-round pick here at 18. And we're going to take Trace Jackson Davis here with my third first-round pick. So we have a big rookie class. Don't know how long these guys are going to be here for, because like, I feel like the Rockets have had multiple first-round picks in like the last four drafts we're picking up the team option on Jalen Green, Shane Goon, Kenny Martin Jr., Josh Christopher, and Garuba yes but they could end up getting flipped I gotta make sure I have enough money to go out and sign James Harden and boom there we go let's get James Harden I gotta give him the four-year deal no trade clause player option on the last year he's gonna be getting paid more than 50 million a year from us which is crazy now let's look at the team and kind of the roster construction so we're pretty much set at point guard Tate Washington First round pick in 2022. He could be on the move as well. But yeah, Harden's going to be a point guard after we get him. And then we'll have KPJ. We have a men Thompson. Maybe I move KPJ. We have a ton of shooting guards. We honestly have a very deep roster. I wouldn't say that we're like a really good team though. But Ed and James Harden, I think can make us a playoff team. And hopefully we see some development in year two from Jabari Smith. Year three for Jalen Green. And then maybe a breakout season from Alper and Shangun. So yeah, that is going to be it for me in this free agency class. And James Harden for Cruz's three overalls. You love to see. It. So if we're trying to figure out the rotation for this year, we're going to go with Harden and Green in the backcourt. Probably Kenyon Martin Jr. starting at the three. Could be a big season for him. We got Jabari Smith at the four, Shane Green at the five. KPJ Eason. Oh my God. Yeah, man. I don't think like Christopher is definitely not getting minutes because I'd probably rather play Jordan Hawkins. We'll go with a 10 man rotation and it's going to look something like this. Like I said, we could be a trade deadline like seller, but not really like selling my best players just to trim up some of this roster. And I have to decide, do I want Jalen Green being mentored by Harden or Amen Thompson? I might go with Jalen Green. And our coach is just like Trent Peterson, uh, auto generated coach because Ime Odoka isn't in the game. But I like that hire for them. Obviously, Ime Odoka had as good of a rookie head coach season as you could want when he ended up winning the Celtics to the NBA Finals, then obviously got fired basically at the start of this year's season. But we'll see how this Rockets team does, and we're like around 500 to start this season. And let's see if James Harden is an all-star coming back here in Houston, and it looks like that he's not an all-star. Great. We are 27 and 27. That's pretty much where I thought we would be with this team. Like, we definitely weren't like the better, like best team in the Western Conference, but we definitely got better from last year. And something I did not expect was Jabari Smith to be outscoring Jalen Green. Huh. Okay, that's something to definitely keep an eye on. Okay, Kenyon Martin Jr. is just not happy here due to his role, and he's a free agent at the end of the year, so I may look to move him. All right, I want to see if the Raptors would do this. I might be giving an overpay, so we're giving them Kevin Porter Jr., Kenyon Martin Jr., and Ty Ty Washington Jr. I forget how many juniors are on this uh, Rockets team, because we also have Jabari Smith Jr. as well, and I'm giving up the 2026 Brooklyn Unprotected First. We're getting OG and Anobi who has no option, I believe, at the end of the year. He has a player option. He's probably going to opt out, but I'd rather worry about bringing him back than bringing back somebody like a Kenny Martin Jr. And we'd have the bird rights on him as well. And he really improves our defense and something like having Jalen Green and Harden in the backcourt together isn't great. I believe they will say yes to this and they do. Welcome to the team, OG and Anobi. All right, so this is going to be the new nine-man rotation. James Harden, Jalen Green, OG and Anobi, Jabari Smith Jr. and Shane Goon with Tari Eason, Amen Thompson, Jordan Hawkins, and Jay Sean Tate off the bench. I'm going to sign Tony Bradley as well because I want to send uh, Chase Jackson Davis to the G League. And let's see if this team could be a playing tournament team in the West. John Morant wins MVP this season. Whoa. Brandon Miller in Charlotte is your rookie of the year ben simmons sixth man of the year in brooklyn we had nobody on the all nba teams or the old defensive teams and amen thompson was on all rookie second team you know what not a terrible season he didn't have the largest role it stinks too because i drafted them and then i also signed a point guard so we are the seventh seed in the western conference we're going up against the okc thunder in the first leg of the playing tournament here's how the scoring finish out and jalen green had a very nice second half now finished with 18 and a half points jabari smith 17 7.4 the efficiency wasn't that bad it's going in the right direction he's still only 20 years old 
old. And for the playoffs, I don't think Jordan Hawkins, who shot 47 from three as a rookie. Wow, that's great. Uh, I don't think he's going to play as much. I don't know why. Okay, well, 2K edited the rotation. So I'm going to go 15 to Tatum Hawkins. Probably do like 18 to Amen Thompson. We'll probably stick with 24 to Tari Eason because he's like our backup big and he was very solid for us. So Harden and Green are probably going to get 37 apiece. And then we're going to do 32 to Ananobi and Jabari Smith. And we got 30 to Shangun. So we are three and a half star balance. Let's see if we can beat the OKC Thunder and move on to be the eight seed in the playoffs. If we lose though, we do have another leg of the playing tournament. So it kind of works out, um, but it looks like we're going to blow them out. Yep, we end up destroying the OKC Thunder by 34 points. Jalen Green with 29, 5, and 14. Whoa, we go 6 for 10 from downtown. Jabari Smith, 21 and 9. Almost a triple-double for Harden. He only took eight shots, and we went by 34. That's great. And we're going to be taking on the Memphis Grizzlies here in the first round of the playoffs. And they have the MVP in John Moran. Let's see who wins game one. And it is the Memphis Grizzlies. They end up winning by one point. Oh, that is brutal. Jabari Smith. Had an amazing performance, 33 points, but it did not matter. Shane Goon had 11, 11, and 6. He did not shoot the ball all that well. And an OB 5 for 9. We'll keep an eye on him as well to see how he does. And we win game 2 by 1 point. Oh my good. Game 1, lose by 1. Game 2, win by 1. Jalen Green with 26. James Harden with 25. Game 3, the Houston Rockets pick up the victory. Let's freaking go. We win by 36 points. Alperun Shane Goon had 34, 5, and 15. Let's freaking go. Tari Eason, 22 off the bench. Jalen Green, 21 and 10. Didn't shoot the ball all that well, but hey, a win is a win. Harden with 19 and 9. Amen Thompson, 17 off the bench. Did have five turnovers though. Game four ends up going to the Houston Rockets. Shangun with 26. Jabari Smith, 24 and 10. Harden with 12, 6, 7, and 3 steals. Okay, and let's not blow a 3 to 1 lead. I mean, it is possible. We lose by 18 here in game five. Winner takes on the six seeded Clippers and we beat them. Wow, the six seed and the seven seed in the Western Conference pull off the upset. And yeah, we're taking on the LA Clippers here in the second round. Have a healthy Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. They beat the Timberwolves in five. Can we pull off? This would technically be an upset. And we win by six in game one. James Harden, 20 and 10. Let's go. Game two is going to go to the Clippers. They win by six. Jabari Smith had 25. Shane Goon went 2 for 11. Yikes. Harden shot 6 for 17. We take a 2 to 1 lead. Oh my goodness. A huge fourth quarter comeback by us. And an OB with 20 points. Jordan Hawkins, 19 points in 16 minutes. Game 4 is going to go to the Rockets. Let's freaking go by 45 points. Harden with a 43 point masterclass. And an OB had 24. Jalen Green and Shane Goon, 19 apiece. Game 5. Can we win? Okay. 3 to 2. It's gonna scare me, man. I don't want to blow a 3-2 or 3-1 lead. And Harden had 17 assists here in this L. Are we gonna win in six again? Yes, we can. We end up beating them by 23. Wow. Jalen Green and Jabari Smith, the youngins, combined for 64 points. You had 23 from Ananobi. 13, 8, and 11 from James Harden. And we're in the conference finals with this team. And the Pelicans ended up winning in six. So yeah, Pelicans, a tough team to play, but I think we could beat them. They're the four seed. So it's not like the scariest thing in the world. And we win game one by one point. We are three games away from going to the NBA Finals. Game two is going to go to the Houston Rockets. Wow, we end up winning by 13. Harden with 29. Jay Sean Tate, who I've been kind of pushed to the side in this video, comes out 18 points in 15 minutes. Hell yeah. Game three is going to go to the Houston Rockets. Oh yeah, let's freaking go. Jalen Green with 30 points. Jabari Smith with 28. 21-10-5 for Shangun. And can we sweep them? Oh yes, we can. We end up pulling off the sweep. Harden with 32 and 13. And we just swept the Pelicans to go to the NBA Finals to take on the Atlanta Hawks. James Harden was your Western Conference Finals MVP. And yeah, I did not expect to be in the finals immediately after signing James Harden. Shout out to Jabari Smith, who's been our leading scorer in the playoffs. And let's see what happens here. The Hawks are great in the simulation. We lose game one by 13 points. Shane Goon had a great game. OG played well, 22 points. He's averaging 15 in the playoffs, shooting 38 from three. It's what I need. I just need him to be that 3 and D guy. We go down 2 0. Oh, God, we was by 31. All right. I don't know. Atari used to shot one for 11. Like, how do we beat Memphis, but we're going to lose to Atlanta? Yep, we go down 3 0. Why is Atlanta so good in the simulation? I really don't get it. Maybe it's Quinn Schneider, and we get swept. Oh, man. Damn, we sweep the Western Conference Finals, and then we end up getting swept in the NBA Finals. Trey Young's your Finals MVP. And there goes LeBron James. He retires. Draft lottery time. We do have Brooklyn's first round pick, and it looks like it could be in the top five. So we just went to the NBA Finals, and we might have a top five pick. All right, the Suns just leapfrogged into the top four. The Bulls are going to end up with the eighth overall pick via Portland. How's something like the Larry Nance Jr.? 
Lowry marking in three team sign and trade and the Bulls get the seventh overall pick with theirs as well so we could fall to six we do not which is huge please don't fall to five come on come on don't fall to five don't fall to five let's go the Spurs whoa that's kind of crazy Bulls at eight and seven Spurs at six and five Thunder at 14 and 11 are we gonna get the fourth pick no it's the Suns we are in the top three after going to the NBA finals and the Rockets are going to get into the top two. So we're guaranteed a top two pick. Are we going to land the number one pick in this draft? And we do. Oh my God. Let's freaking go. The Houston Rockets get the number one pick in the draft. And I don't even know what to do. That is our only pick in the draft because I believe we owe our pick to the Thunder. And that's at 18. That's from like the Chris Paul, Russell Westbrook trade. And I liked Harden at the one. Obviously I signed him got two more years i gotta play him at the one we got jalen green at the two i envisioned ananobi at the three jabari smith at the four shangun at the five but now i'm like do i trade the pick i mean if i didn't get james harden i would definitely do this trade and get De'Aaron fox so i think i'm gonna take another like wing here i'm gonna take matzas buzuelos here with the first overall pick in the 2024 draft so yeah we are gonna sign him he is an 81 overall we got a bunch of second round picks here i'm only going to sign carlisle and kulik here so elijah fisher and chris bell i will not be signing you know what i think i'm gonna pick up all three but but I might be making some trades. So I think I'm going to give Ananobi the fourth year. I'm going to do a three-year deal at about $27 million. So he's going to get paid up to almost $30 million at the end of that contract. I believe he will accept it, and he does. And I'm going to trade Usman Garuba and Josh Christopher, who still definitely has a lot of potential. He just kind of did, couldn't get minutes in this rotation to the Suns for Hami Hakez in their 2026 unprotected first round pick. And then I'm going to trade Jay Sean Tate to the Cavs for Mo Bamba, who could just be a backup big for us. So Harden regresses down to an 85 overall. Shangun's an 86. Jabari Smith's up to an 85. Jalen Green at an 89. All right, so the start of the 2025 season, we're going to have another deep rotation as well. So it's going to be Harden, Green, Ananobi at the three, Jabari Smith at the four, Shangun at the five. I think. Buzuelos is probably going to be the sixth man. And then Jordan Hawkins, I think, is going to be the ninth man. Mo Bamba might not even crack the rotation. So it's going to look something like this. Harden 32, Green 33, and an OB 30, Smith 31, and Shingu 29. It will definitely change when the playoffs come. And then we have Buzuelos, Amen Thompson, Tari Eason, and Jordan Hawkins off the bench. We'll see how this team is on the offensive side of the ball and the defensive side of the ball at the deadline if I want to make a move and upgrade the team at all. All right, so here at the trade deadline, did we get any all-stars this year as well? Doesn't look like it, unfortunately. No Jalen Green, no Harden. We got two players averaging above 19 points, and it's the youngins still. It's Jalen Green and Jabari Smith. You love to see that. Harden's averaging 8.6 assists a night. Shane at about 12 and a half, nine and a half. 5.8 assists for Shane Green. That's pretty sick. Buzelis, north of 12 points as a rookie. And then Thompson looks better this season. It sucks I'm not going to be able to play him like the full amount of minutes because I guess I got Harden. But you know what? I don't think I'm going to make any moves. I think I'm just going to roll with this team into the playoffs. And let's hope that we can maybe land as a top six seed. And we were in the finals last year. And I know Harden did regress. But I think like Smith got better. Green got better. We drafted Buzelis. We should be okay. But I'm not going to get my hopes up though. And Darius Garland wins MVP. It seems like just point guards win MVP. And Robert Dillingham coach of the year robert dillingham rookie of the year gets it over brazil it's definitely had a larger role so it makes sense did we get anybody in an all nba team i think that's wishful thinking yeah and buzay was on all rookie second team damn the number one overall pick on rookie second team that's on me but we finished the year as the sixth seed so we're at least not in the playing tournament going up against the okc thunder they have miles bridges he progressed three overalls last year wow and they have the sixth man of the year cole anthony off the bench jalen green finished with 20 points so it's nice to see that and it'll be 11.2 points making 28 million a year that's tough but shot 37 from three and we know he's still an elite defender so probably gonna switch up some of the minutes in the playoffs Jordan Hawkins shot 36 percent from three so I'm gonna play Jalen Green and Jabari Smith the most amount of minutes I think we're four star balance let's see what happens here game one against the OKC Thunder we end up winning by five James Harden with 22 points and 11 assists Shane Goon with 17 points and seven assists we ended up losing game two though by 20 points Miles Bridges had 31 points against us can we win the rubber match here in game three yes we can by three points at home Jalen Green with 26 Harden with 21 and 11 shout out to Buzelis 19 points in 23 minutes game four Four goes to the Houston Rockets by 20. Jabari Smith with 32. Jalen Green with 23. There's Ananobi with 20. And can we win in five? Nope, we can't. We end up losing by 10, unfortunately. Game six, we end up winning and we're in the second round again, pulling off a massive upset last year. We were the seven seed, beat the two seed. This year, we're the six seed, we beat the three seed. Great all around performance from Shane Goon. 23, 9, 5, 2, 4, and 0. Wow. So you have the Lakers beating the Blazers and the Mavericks beating the Clippers. We're going up against the Phoenix Suns. 
who obviously have Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, they have Tobias Harris, they have Robert Dillingham. I guess they did a Chris Paul trade for Tobias Harris because they still have DeAndre Aiden. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, I guess we ended up taking James Harden from the Sixers. So that would have made sense. But no, that's not what happened. Game one here against the Suns, we end up winning by eight points. Jalen Green with 33, Shangu 24, 12, and six. Also three steals. Man, he's been a, no, oh, he shot eight for 22 though, but he's been a beast defensively in the last couple of games. Game two, we end up losing it by 14. Devin Booker had 40. Game three goes to the Houston Rockets by four points. We are now two games away from going to the Western Conference Finals as Ananobi shot four for 21, 0 for 11 from three. Well, that's not great. We end up winning game four, though, by 14 points. Jabari Smith, 26 and 8. And I know we played better in this game. 17 assists for James Harden. And we are one game away from going to the Western Conference Finals. But we dropped game five by 20. Here we go. Game six. Don't let them force the game seven. And they forced the game seven. Oh, we just could not score in the fourth quarter there. We were winning going into the fourth as well. So let's see what happens here. Oh, okay. Let's not get blown out. We are down by nine. That's not great. Uh, we really got to come back here. Only down by eight though. And then, all right, we're down by 12. It's not impossible, but we can't win any single quarter. And it looks like we are going to lose in game seven. Damn, we end up losing and we blow a three to one lead. Come on. I can't even blame Harden because he played well, at least offensively in this game. Jabari Smith, I mean, I would have liked him to play better, but he's still one of my best guys. Only nine shots for Jalen Green. It looks like he got into foul trouble. I don't know what I'm going to do in this offseason because I don't know where to upgrade or like we know Harden's getting worse, but we know the young guys are getting better. It's like at a weird crossroads. I don't even know why the Rockets, in my opinion, I don't think they should go out and sign James Harden. I think they should like if they wanted a veteran, maybe go out and trade for Chris Ball. He would cost a lot less. You wouldn't have him for as many years and he could be the leader in the locker room. But yeah, in my opinion, I don't know if I would get James Harden and give him 200 million dollars if i were the rock so we're here in the 2025 lottery we might get another top five pick via the net shout out to the james harden trade it's funny because now james harden's back with us and we got all those picks for him and that pick is going to be number four in this draft let's go we don't have our first round pick it's a swap with the nets so the nets get it at 22 all right so let's see who falls to me at the fourth pick isaiah elohim goes number one number two there's a trade the nuggets trade the pick for De'Aaron fox okay De'Aaron fox and Jokic teaming up kings draft ian jackson i was gonna take trey johnson but he ends up going there so i'm gonna take bears bagayoko with this pick probably to back up shangu next year and i also have to pay a couple guys like jalen green and shangu in this draft or at least in this free agency class i mean so yeah, we're going to sign Bagayoko, uh, London Johnson, uh, and I think that's it. Maybe Jared McCain as well. So yeah, Smith, welcome back. Amen Thompson, Eason, Hawkins, and that's going to be it. Trey Jackson Davis. Unfortunately, I didn't really use too much, but he was never going to crack the rotation with the talent we had. Yeah, so Shane Goon and Green are at the top of my priority here in free agency. We're going to give them basically the max contracts. I mean, they're both restricted, so I can wait and see if I'm going to match any deals. Jalen Green gets a deal from the next four years, 139. Let's match that. And then let's see if we can get Shangun on a front-loaded deal. That would be a steal of a contract if we could pull that off. And yeah, five years, 131. That's pretty good. And James Harden has regressed down to an 82 overall. And then Thompson is now a higher overall. So I think I might start Bruzelis over OG and Anobi, which is kind of crazy. So yeah, it's going to look something like this. It's a lot. It's like a deep team right now. I got 10 guys that I want to give a decent amount of minutes to. Like I would actually be perfectly fine starting anybody on our bench. Like 86 of men Thompson, $30 million man, OG and Anobi, Tari Eason, who's been probably the more like most underrated player in this rebuild so far. Jordan Hawkins, elite three point shooter and Barris Bagayoko. I just took fourth overall. We're four star balance as a team. Let's see if this could be our best year yet. If I have to. Okay. Well, I say that we started off 0-3. I was going to say maybe I would bench James Harden for Man Thompson, but we'll see. So we really went through this rebuild so far with zero all-stars, but I guess it makes sense because uh, we don't have like some guy completely dominating on the team, but we're 44 and nine. We're 10 and a half games better than the second best team in the Western conference. And we don't have a single all-star, which is kind of crazy. But then again, like our winning score is at 18 points a night. And I'm just hoping that this team like will win it all. I think we'll be higher than a succeed in the playoffs. We have the second best rating differential offensively in the league and the best defensively. We're still four star balance. I didn't know if we were going to get up to four and a half stars. James Harden will resign here. 28 million. I think I'd wait on that. And Luka Doncic wins MVP. Ian Jackson, the player that the Kings took in the De'Aaron Fox trade, gets rookie of the year. Scoot Henderson, <laughs> 27 and 7 in Portland. Oh, wait, did. Wemby won Rookie of the Year one, or was it Brandon Miller? Wait, that was kind of crazy, but yeah, Scoot's a freaking beast. We go 71 and 11 with this team. Nobody on an all-NBA team. 
nobody on an all defensive team and we get Bears Baga Yoko on all rookie second team he averaged three points a night Jordan Hawkins shot 44 from three I can't bench him so maybe I'm just gonna roll with the same rotation and not really change up the minutes I mean we did win 71 games game one of the playoffs we ended up losing to the Dallas Mavericks by 21 points so now that we're a good seed, you're going to make me lose. That would just be typical 2K. We end up beating them by 47 points here in game two. Jalen Green at 30. 14 assists for James Harden as he only hit one shot in that game. Wow. We take a two to one lead by four points. Two Texas teams right now. Didn't mention that. 12 assists for Shane Goon. He is an assist machine, man, for the center position. And we end up winning game four. We're up three games to one. Come on, give me that game five victory. Let's freaking go. I don't want to blow any three to one leads. We win by 12. Jabari Smith with 31 points. All right, now we got the Rockets versus the Thunder. Game one, we end up winning by 26 points. Tari Eason was our leading scorer with 20. Okay. Game number two is going to go to the Houston Rockets by 11, or excuse me, by nine. Jalen Green with 33. Jabari Smith with 24. How has Buzuelo been? She's look at how efficient he is. Look how efficient he is. Game three is going to go to the Houston Rockets, and we're now one game away from going to our second conference finals in this video. Okay, the Thunder did not want to get swept. That's fine. I'll beat you in five. Don't let them win this one, okay? It's three to two. They end up winning by three points. God damn, they got Ron Holland there too. Devin Vassell, he went seven for seven, and we win in six. Thankfully, we're not going to a game seven after being up 3-0. Jalen Green, 24 points. Now we're taking on the San Antonio Spurs, Isaiah Collier, Malachi Branham, Kelton Johnson, Xavier Booker, and yeah, Victor Wembanyama. Yama. So it's a very sick team. Another Texas opponent. We win game one by 22 points. Jalen Green at 24. He's averaging 21 in the playoffs. How many points is James Harden averaging in the playoffs? He's averaging 13 points, nine and a half assists. I mean, he's getting up there in age. Game two. We win by 21. Harden, after I say he's not averaging a lot, gives me 32 and 10. Game three, we win this. Let's go. How much did we win by? One point. Hey, win by 30, win by one. I don't care. A win is a win. And we end up sweeping them. Let's freaking go. We're going up against Lamella Ball, Brandon Miller, and the Charlotte Hornets. Shout out to Shane Goon getting Western Conference Finals MVP. All right, so let's see who can win this here. We're going up against Lamelo, Rozier, Chris Middleton, and Charlotte. Ooh, that's a nice pickup. Brandon Miller at the four, which I love. And then Sabonis at the five? Oh my God, and they have Jamal Murray off the bench. Mark Williams is an 83. Wow, this Hornets team is actually pretty freaking solid. I'm kind of nervous. Game one, we do win though by five points. I don't know. Like LaMelo Ball on the Sim is great. That Hornets team is deep, but we take a 2-0 lead. We win 140-130. We're now two games away from winning the NBA Finals. Make that one. Let's freaking go. We're up three games to zero. Jabari Smith with 36 points in 31 minutes. And let's see if we can pull off the sweep. We got to win this one in Charlotte, though. We are up by double figures, and we are dominating this game. Yeah, we are going to blow them out. Let's freaking go. Jalen Green has just nine points in this one. I was going to try to do the pick and roll with uh, Shane Goon. Oh, over there to Tari Eason, who probably like is not going to hit that shot. I don't know why I took it. Jabari Smith with 12 points. Shane Goon with six. Who scored the most in this game? I don't know, but Tari Eason does have 21 points. Well, Melo is going to hit that shot. Jalen Green for three. He's going to knock that down. Oh, in and out. But yeah, I don't know. Like, I love the hiring of Ime Odoka for the Rockets. It's going to be huge. I think, like, Jalen Green, Jabari Smith are going to be much better next year, especially Jabari Smith. I think he was drafted into a poor position in Houston. I'm very excited to see his sophomore year as Eason picks up his 23rd point of the night. And yeah, we'll see if they go after James Harden. It's looking like it's going to happen. I just don't know if I love it. I would keep developing Shane Goon and Jabari Smith in the front court, get Jalen Green at the two still. And then, yeah, like you're going to potentially draft an MN Thompson. You have like Kenya Martin Jr. and some other guys. I don't know. I don't know. But then maybe if you do, oh my God, Jabari Smith Jr. Okay, well, that was just filthy. <laughs> wow, that was sick. But yeah, if you do go after James Harden, maybe then you pivot to Cam Whitmore in the draft. Maybe there's no point in having a MN Thompson be behind Harden, but injuries do happen. And then maybe a MN can eventually be that starting point guard eventually uh down the line as jamal murray knocks down that setback jumper cuts the lead down to 27 like the chris paul meme hits the huge three to make the deficit only by 42 points that was a six spin move from green in the reverse dunk let's freaking go that was sick and the houston rockets win the 2026 nba finals with james harden being your finals mvp i hope you guys did enjoy this rockets rebuild let me know in the comments down below do you think that they should go out and sign james harden or do you think that would just be kind of negative towards their rebuild and they should continue building with the young core they have now and use that cap space on somebody maybe like a fred van vliet who would cost less maybe it's a wing or maybe save that cap space for 2024's free agency so yeah let me know what you guys think they should do down below my elimination rebuild will be out tomorrow so yeah thank you all for watching i love you guys and i'll catch you on the next one peace